instruction about searching for files in Folder Viewer. Select search files, select file search, the first option to open the search panel. The first thing you have to do is to set the folder where the search will start, in this case test photos. You will select the pattern to search for, in this case only JPEGs. Um, you can set the, the file size to be included, you can set a certain date the picture was taken in, and when you click find, the search will be executed. Well, nearly instantaneously, all the 93 files are listed. Um, just like Explorer, you can right-click on the picture or on the, the file and you have the context menu and you can have all the functionality you have in the Explorer. You can uh, go to the file immediately, uh, do another one, go to the file and the file will be selected. You can print the selected files, you see a complete list of all the pictures in, in the list, close them. You can export to, to Excel, to HTML, to text file and XML and you can immediately rename the files using the rename tool which we won't do in this instruction video. Okay, Let's deselect all the files. Um, we can have another one. Suppose we checkmark the properties. In the next uh, search, the properties will be included. The search will take some more time because it has to be read from the file, from the hard drive. But when we click it, well, now also the properties like focal length, shutter speed, the flash, the saturation, sharpness, uh, exposure by metering mode, etc., etc., is listed. Once we have included the properties, we can use the data mining and open some predefined. Uh, pivot table template, like for instance the ISO versus f-stop. You open them and now you have here the ISO values and here the uh, different f-stops of the pictures currently in the list. And of course you can print it, you get an overview. So um, this is a very enhanced tool to have an overview of your files, in this case pictures. There are a lot of filters to be used, like the year taken, ISO range, focal length, focal length range, focal length in 35 millimeters, the shutter speed, etc. etc. And of course, you, once you have your, um, your, your pivot table, um, which is suited for your needs, you can save the pivot table, of course, to use it again later. You can just dragging them off them and you can yeah, exclude a new one and here you have, for instance, the, the f-stop, it's maybe a strange one, but just for the sake of argument, you have here the year taken and here the different f-stops, well, like another one, um, for instance, the maker, and here you see we have used in the couple of years a Canon and an HTC and, 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 and other, um, yeah, photos which did hand uh, a camera or a maker the exchanges for the um, well the model and here you see the different pictures we're taking with a Canon EOS 1D Mark III and an HD1 uh, well it, you can do a lot of funny things with this and save them for later use of course you can also have a the results listed as icons. Let's do it again. And here you see that the results are immediately shown as a picture. We have here the Statue of Liberty. Press F4 or right click and open it in the window. Okay. We have another kind of search. This is the file search using Google Desktop. And Google Desktop, let's clear them. Uh, with Google Desktop, if it's in installed on your hard disk, Folder Viewer will notice it and implement it into Folder Viewer. Uh, it's for the needle in the haystack searches. For instance, we look for a certain docx file, and the docx file has to include the word protocol. When we search, we see that it's very fast. We only uh, see files listed and containing the word protocol in the file name, but also in the content of the file. 
we check this by opening it and well we see we want to use this word uh, we copy it close it again and now we search the file um, the files using th this word it's a Dutch word it doesn't matter if we search again you see that okay we have only the files containing this word and this is a very nice feature of course uh, it's a wrapper around the Google desktop search you can Google desktop uh, you can find Google desktop search on the internet download it install it on your system and um, all of you will, will use it and this is really a nice feature because in the results you there's also uh, the context menu and this is not possible when you use uh, Google desktop search in your browser of course well this is the advanced search tool when you open the search as a panel you can also use the search tool embedded in the Explorer you see we have the Explorer opened and now you click on the search panel inside Explorer this will open the search panel tool inside the Explorer and this will allow and you to have some very handy features ready available to you we click on this folder holiday on the Isle of Tessel and immediately the pictures in this folder will be listed we go into the pivot table mode we open ISO versus f-stop and open them and we select properties and we select find and immediately we will wind on them a bit you see the ISO values and the f-stop values of the pictures taken during our holiday on the Isle of Tessel we had also a holiday in Toscane we click on it and immediately the pictures will be loaded and like magic all the values are listed the ISO values and the f-stop values and of course you can print them as well fit them to the screen and you have here a nice overview from this folder holiday in Toscane the ISO values and the f-stop values including the the doc files and you here you see for instance company and author in the longhorn company and you see the different authors belonging to this uh, company and uh, yeah the various sizes and uh, percentages concerning the documents written by these authors